Anything I need to have a story ready for. This murder, I think it might be true. What's true or false really doesn't matter. If it hurts the studio, if it stops one person from buying a ticket, I have to fix it. Movie star Ben Affleck could have suffered the same fate as TV Superman George Reeves had he let the media attention rule his life, but fatherhood and taking a breather from the business put everything into proper perspective. Affleck, who donned a prosthetic nose and the padded gray suit to play Reeves, talks about the toll Tinseltown took on him. The story is about, for me, in terms of Reeves, what it's like to live as a part of that projected reality, the cost, the toll it took on him, um, the price of ambition in a way, um, how Hollywood and fame and the kind of pursuit of those things have become such a kind of golden ring, culturally speaking, uh, and what, what that does to you, to um, have those as your, as your goals in some ways. Even back in the 1950s, attaining fame and celebrity through movies and television was as much a reality as it is today, which in some ways might have been the downfall of Reeves, according to Ben. For a guy whose life ended, sadly, I think he lived with a tremendous amount of character. You know, he wasn't a perfect guy. He was flawed. He was ambitious, I think. Too ambitious, um, too impatient, and maybe too interested in um, the things that are on the surface as opposed to what's kind of underneath. But he was also a very good man, um, a talented man, a hardworking guy, and a, a graceful man of some kind of uh, redeeming and graceful uh, yeah it was a dignified guy hollywood land opens friday in theaters nationwide and you realize george shot himself he was shot who did that you have anything to tell me 